Good morning. My name is Drew Vanis. I'm executive director of the Lower Hanna Watershed Association located in Ligonier, Pennsylvania. Our organization was formed in 1971 and we are one of the oldest watershed organizations in Pennsylvania. Uh, we've grown a lot over time. Uh, we have a 300 square mile watershed. We have a 15 member board of directors that all help to run the organization. And we also have about 550 members, contributing members to our organization, uh, from which we get a big pool of volunteers. We're involved in four major areas, one being water quality, another one being uh, land conservation, third one being community outreach, and then a fourth one being environmental education. Uh, as far as water quality protection, uh, we were formed for the purpose of water quality protection and have been involved in a lot of abandoned mine drainage projects over time. We're working on uh, three of them right now. Uh, one involves the possibility of actually producing hydroelectric power out of a 7,500 gallon per minute discharge. The other one, we just got a $500,000 growing greener grant uh, for three discharges that are located right outside the city of Latrobe. And then the third project we're working on involves the possibility of integrating a biogas plant, a, an abandoned mine drainage location, and a sewage treatment plant, integrating them uh, because they all have raw materials that one can contribute to another. Uh, that is in the feasibility study stage now. We expect another feasibility study finished within the next month. Uh, we have just recently, and that means within the last three years, we've become highly involved in stream bank erosion projects. We have just finished one on the Royal Hanna Creek that was uh, really a huge project. It was 1,800 feet long. Uh, we were losing uh, canopy cover of trees. Huge sycamores, huge oaks that are 100 to 150 years old were in danger of falling into the stream. Uh, there was a lot of vertical bank erosion. But thanks to a grant from PennDOT as part of the mitigation project, we were able to do uh, this project on, as I said, 1,800 feet of stream. So it's completely changed that section of the stream. The water quality is much better. The trout habitat is much better. The uh, warmth of the stream has been reduced, so it's cool, more polar running water, more oxygenated water. It's been a win-win situation. Then we have also been involved in a series of uh, smaller erosion projects on a stream called Mill Creek, which is at the upper end of the watershed. And through a combination of Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, the Westmoreland Conservation District, Forbes Trail Trout Unlimited Chapter, uh, Western Pennsylvania Conservancy, and the Wilhelm Watershed Association, we've been able to uh, do 11 stream bank projects along Mill Creek within the last three years. Going on to land conservation, uh, we work very closely with the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy in protecting strategic parcels of land in our watersheds. Uh, one of the most recent ones we have uh, finished uh, uh, involved uh, protection for perpetuity of a uh, 250 acre farm on the outskirts of Ligonier that is really one of the most beautiful farms in the area. And it was in danger of being sold to a developer because the uh, Harry Marker who owned the farm is in his 70s, he retired from farming, was going to sell the, uh, the farm, and again, the thing we didn't want to happen was to have 200 homes built on this plot of ground. So, uh, with the Western Pennsylvania Conservancy and the Westmoreland County Agricultural Land Protection Program, and with some private donors, we were able to purchase the farm. There's a permanent agricultural easement on it. We have been able to resell the farm, and the bottom line is that land is protected. All right, I'd like to introduce Susan Huba. Susan is LWA's project and program manager. Uh, she actually is the one that gets things done in the organization. And uh, she will cover our environmental education and our community outreach program. Again, my name is Susan Huba, and I'm the program manager at the Lower Hanna Watershed Association. And um, my biggest mission is to enhance our environmental education programs and also our community outreach programs that we do. Um, I'll first talk about our ed environmental education programs. We are just starting to become involved with the Trout in the Classroom pro project that has been very popular in the state of New York, New Jersey, and Ohio. 
we are working with Ligonier Valley Middle School 7th grade this year and they will be raising trout in their classroom in a 55 gallon aquarium from eggs until fr the, in the fry stage and then they'll be releasing them in Lynn Run State Park in early May hopefully. Um, so we're going, getting ready to start that. We also do a um, program with Idaho Park in Soak Zone called the Outdoor Classroom and we are starting that this year as well. We have developed a water education program for them centered on water quality monitoring, um, macroinvertebrate testing, and also a program about wetlands that they will offer to over 14,000 students from um, the area, West Marlin County, Allegheny County, um, and even schools from Maryland come to that program. So we're getting our, our name out that way as well. Um, as far as community involvement, we do several cleanups in the spring. We have one of the largest cleanups in our area. It's called the Great Ligonier Valley Cleanup, where we have over 300 volunteers involved in a one-day cleanup of area roadways. Uh, last year we did over 600 bags of roadside litter and covered more than 50 roads in the Ligonier Valley. So that's one of our biggest accomplishments. We've extended that to the Latro community where we take um, about 100 volunteers and we clean up Route 30, which is a very heavily traveled road with a lot of roadside litter from area businesses. And we, um, we clean that up as well. We are also involved with, with um, West Marlin County Earth Day at St. Vincent College. We do a uh, several, several programs where we try to get volunteers involved in not only cleanups but also our recycling projects. We are one of five permanent recycling facilities for electronics in the state of Pennsylvania. And we've done almost 200 tons of electronics uh, recycled through a company in Maryland since we started that program. Uh, we were awarded the Governor's Award for Environmental Excellence in 2006 for that program and we really um, are trying to get our name out in other areas uh, so people can bring their own electronics to us to recycle for free uh, instead of throwing them in the garbage, which a lot of people do. Um, that enhances our Ligonier Valley Community Recycling Program, which we offer to residents of our community, and um, we just keep trying to get new programs uh, added to our agenda every day. So we're, we're proud to be there for our community members.